Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. The California Science Center is proud to host the world premiere of this all-new exhibition, King Tut, Treasures of the Golden Pharaoh, for its only U.S. appearance before it begins a European tour. The exhibition contains 150 objects from King Tut's tomb. That is three times the amount that have ever toured. And out of those 150, 66 actually have never been out of Egypt before. Uh, the 10 City Tour will be celebrating the 100th anniversary of the discovery of the tomb by Howard Carter in 1922. I want to tell you, from this exhibit, you will learn a lot about the magic, the mystery. You will see this beautiful object of King Tut. You have in this beautiful exhibit the most beautiful objects that will capture the hearts of everyone in this town. This is the legacy, not just to see the wonderment of these incredible pieces of art, but it is also about the mark that it will leave long after those are gone on our city and all who walk into our doors. According to the ancient Egyptians, a man dies twice, once when his soul leaves his body, and a second time after the death of the last person who speaks his name. The Valley of the Kings, burial site of ancient Egyptian pharaohs. It is 1922. In the Valley of the Kings, Howard Carter is on an intense search. He is an Englishman who has worked in Egypt for over 30 years. Hired at 17 for his artistic skill, he soon fell in love with Egypt and its history. He worked on many archaeological digs and through hard work and determination, became a well-respected Egyptologist. The discovery of a cup inscribed with the name Tutankhamun convinces Carter that the tomb of this obscure king lies somewhere in the valley and may still be untouched by grave robbers or explorers. In 1908, Carter started working for a wealthy aristocrat and amateur Egyptologist, Lord Carnarvon. When Carnarvon obtained the permit to dig in the valley in 1950, the hunt for Tutankhamun intensified. But the search was fruitless and expensive. In 1922, Carter persuades Carnarvon to fund one final season of digging. This is Carter's last chance. It is 1336 BC. Egypt is at the height of its glory, the most powerful empire on Earth. The ancient Egyptians credit their success to the blessings of the gods. It is a culture immersed in magic. Each day, the sun god Re voyages across the sky. Each night, he travels through a dark and dangerous netherworld. Each sunrise, he is reborn to begin his journey, an eternal cycle, and one the king enters after death through the power of magic. At the tender age of nine, Tutankhamun ascends to the throne. He lives a life of unimaginable wealth and luxury until he dies suddenly at 19. Priests prepare his body for the perilous journey through the afterlife. They provide magical amulets, spells, and weapons, everything that the boy king will need to meet the dark challenges that stand between him and paradise. Now, join Tutankhamun on his journey to the afterlife. See the magnificent objects placed in his tomb to protect him from supernatural forces. Meet the creatures who challenge him and the gods who keep him safe. 
the destinies of two men, separated by 3,000 years, converge. Howard Carter becomes the best-known Egyptologist in the world. Tutankhamun becomes immortal, the most famous of all pharaohs, the one whose name will live forever. A firm conviction among those ancient Egyptians was that life did not end at death, but that man continued to live just as he had lived upon this earth, provided that measures for his protection to usher him through the labyrinth of the underworld and necessaries for his future existence were assured him. We shall now see from the equipment placed in these rooms at least part of what was considered necessary for his protection and for his future existence.
November 6, 1922, Howard Carter to his financier, Lord Carnarvon. The last have made wonderful discovery. A magnificent tomb with seals intact, recovered for your arrival. Congratulations. The discovery had come after Hussein Abdel Razoul, an Egyptian water boy on Carter's crew, found a step carved into the bedrock on the valley floor. Carter's men uncovered a stairwell that led to the sealed tomb. Two weeks later, when Carnarvon arrived, they broke through the seal and found the tomb nearly intact and filled with treasure. News of the find instantly gripped the imagination of the world. Tutankhamun became an overnight sensation. The press declared that Carter and Carnarvon had discovered Aladdin's cave. It was the greatest archaeological find in history and remains so today.
It took Howard Carter 10 years to clear Tutankhamun's tomb of over 5,400 invaluable objects. He assembled a team of European and American Egyptologists, among the most highly regarded in the world, and then hired a vast army of Egyptian workers. Together, under grueling desert conditions, Carter and his team engineered unique hoists to remove large artifacts like the golden coffin. They built a railroad for transporting objects to the Nile, where boats took them to the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Working with photographer Harry Burton, Carter created a complete record of the tomb and the treasures as he found them, as well as individual artifacts. Carter set a new standard for excavation, documentation, and preservation that remains a model for archaeologists today.